Hi, my name's Katrina, and this is part two of kickboxing. So you'll want to have either gone through the part one that takes you through warm-up kicks and punches, or make sure that you have warmed up on your own, because we're gonna go right into the combinations. So part one is ideal to do before, that way you've done the warm-up, you've gone through the kicks and punches in one of the combinations, but if you've already warmed up on your own, then you should be ready as well. Um, as with I mentioned in part one, you'll want to make sure that you have a water bottle close by so you can grab water whenever you need. Make sure that you have good sturdy shoes on, We're moving around a lot, um, comfortable clothing. Note I will give lots of options, so please listen to your body. Pick the option that works for you. If you need to take a break at any time, please do that as well. So again, my name is Katrina. We're going to go ahead and get you started. Turning that right hip forward, shoulders drop back. We're going to start with the right jab. So you're reaching out, knuckles are on top. Little bend on those elbows as you jab. So jab, 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 reaching out. I'm swaying through my body just a little bit, but notice it's the whole body. So it's not just my hips moving with that movement, it's the whole body going into that jab. We're gonna change this, adding on. So right now we're gonna go two jabs, two knees, starting here. Jab, jab, knee, and knee. Jab, jab, knee, and knee. So keeping it just on that right side, knee and knee. Jab, jab, knee and knee. Pull it up. So you can stay right here if this feels perfect to you. So it's jab, jab, one and two. If you want to change that second knee into a kick, you can change that into a side push. So knee, push. Jab, jab, knee, push is the option. If that doesn't feel good, two knees puts you in the same place. Knee and knee. Jab, jab, one, two. Jab, jab, one, two. Keep going, we're gonna go two more just like that. Jab, jab, up and up. Jab, jab, just that jab, hold it here, just that jab. So I'm gonna add that little bit of movement through the rest of my body again. We're gonna change this into what I call a jab switch. So we're gonna jab one time, march over to that left side, jab, and then march back, starting right here. So it's jab, march, march, jab, march, march, jab, march, march. So you can stay right here. I'm gonna add some more options. So you can stay here if the options don't work for you. So jab, half jab, jab, half jab. So I'm tapping out to the side, adding some arms in there. So again, if this feels good for you, you can come here. If it doesn't feel good, go back to that march instead. If you like that half jack, but you feel like you want to go with a full jack, that option, change it to the full jack. Jab, switch, jab, switch. So you pick what that switch looks like. Let's go one more time on the right. Hold the left jab, hold that jab, hold it. Knuckles are on top. Drop those shoulders, keep that neck nice and long. Same little combo here, two jabs, two knees. Jab, jab, knee, and knee. Jab, jab, knee, and knee. So again, you can stay here, one, two, or you can change it to that knee side push. Jab, jab, one, two, or jab, jab, one, two. Either option, whichever feels right for your body. Up and out. Jab, jab, up and out, jab, jab, one, two, one more time, jab, jab, speed bag here. So you can march on the feet, you can shuffle, you're rolling those hands over one another, rolling it out. Think about standing up nice and tall. So again, march, shuffle, you can do some hops like a little jump rope, whatever feels right for your body. We're going for four, three, two, right knees only, just those right knees, pulling it up. Pull it up. Spread out the toes on that left foot. Keep that chest nice and open as you pull, pull, pull. We're gonna go with three right knees and then a side push on the left. So we're going three, two, one, push. Knee, knee, knee. Push out to the side. Up, two, one, push. Now don't worry about how high those kicks are. Think about the power behind it. And when you kick that little bend, on that knee at the end. Okay, now you can stay with these three knees if that feels perfect for you, or you can throw a kick in there on that second knee. So we're going knee, kick, knee, side push. Front, side, front, left. Front, side, front, left. Now if that feels 
really good and you feel like adding lots of kicks, you can go kicks on all three of those knees. Three, two, one, left. Three, two, one, left. If you're like, no, I don't like that, maybe you stay with the one kick or maybe you stay with all the knees. Same ending point, last time here. Three, two, one, hold that side push on the left. Hold it, hold it, keep going. So we're leaning a little bit, working on balance. Notice you can tap every single time. Kicking out, tapping down. So stay here. Or you can float that foot. So if your balance feels really strong today and you wanna challenge it even more, maybe you don't tap. Again, I don't know what you're feeling, you know what you're feeling. So listen to that body for four, three, two, left knees only. Pull it up, that left leg should be feeling pretty heavy. Don't worry, it's gonna get a little break here. We're gonna go for three left knees, side push on the right. Three, two, one, push. Three, two, one, push. The so same options, you can stay with those knees the whole time if that feels like that is a good place for you. If you wanna throw, one kick in there, throw a kick in there. Play with it, see what's challenging for you today. If you feel like you wanna go with all kicks, you can go with all kicks or a little bit quicker because you gotta extend that leg. So maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. You got three different options to choose from. Three, two, one, and out. So a couple more times with those three. Last time here, we're gonna hold that side push, hold that push, hold it, hold it, little bend on that standing leg, pressing out to the bottom of that foot. Push, 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 little lean on that body. You should feel that core engaged and working. You have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, right jab forward. Knuckles are on top, drop those shoulders down. Okay, a little combo here. I'm gonna take it slower so we get the movement down. You're gonna go jab, cross, jab, and knee. Right, left, right, knee. Right, left, right, knee. One more time at this speed. Right, left, right, quicker here. Jab, cross, jab, knee. Jab, cross, jab, knee. Now if that knee doesn't feel good, try to tap instead. You can make it whatever position feels right for you. If it feels really good and you want a little bit more, you can step further out. You can also add a little hop as it comes back in. So it's jab, cross, jab, knee. Jab, cross, jab, knee. Two more. Jab, knee. Give me just that jab. Hold that jab. Maybe you stay here. Again, drop those shoulders down, neck nice and long. Okay, remember our jab switch. You got three different options. Pick the one that works for you, starting in three, two, one. Right here, jab, switch, jab, switch, switch. Or the other option, jab, half jab, or jab, full jack. Again, your decision, what your body feels best doing. Another option is you can make that movement a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger if you choose to. One more time on each side. We're gonna hold that left jab, hold it here. Knuckles are on top. Okay, we're gonna slow that combination down just like we did earlier. We're going with our jab, cross, jab, knee. Left, right, left, and knee. Left, right, left, and knee. Jab, cross, jab, one more time here. Jab, cross, jab, quicker. Left, right, left, knee. Jab, cross, jab, knee. Remember the options. If that knee doesn't feel good, try the tap. If you want more, you can step out wider. You can add a little hop as you come in. Keep going, jab, cross, jab, knee. For four, three, two, Give me that speed bag again, speed bag. Keep that chest up, nice and tall. Okay, we're gonna move back to that lower body a little bit more here. Start with a march on that right foot. One, two, three, knee. One, two, three, knee. So alternating knees with that march in place. Remember, you can always stay with those knees if that's the best place for you. If you want to add a little roundhouse, that means that toe is pointed and you're hitting, I'm gonna show you from the side, you're hitting out to the side. 
with those shoelaces. Okay, keep going. The next left, we're gonna hold that round half. Hold, hold, snapping. Hitting with those shoelaces, bringing that knee straight out to the side, little bend on that right leg. For out, out. Tapping if you need to, listen to that body. Tap. Maybe you float it. We have four, three, two, march on that left. One, two, three, and knee. One, two, three, knee. Again, stay here as long as you need to. Whenever you feel comfortable doing so, we're gonna change it back into that roundhouse, alternating sides, and out to that side. Next right, we're gonna hold, hold that roundhouse. Snap, snap, snap. Pointing that toe, hitting with those shoelaces, leaning that body, feeling that whole core engage. Again, little bend on that standing leg. Keep going. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, jump rope. Now, if you don't feel comfortable jumping, you can march instead. If you feel comfortable jumping, it can be whatever version of jump rope works for you. I'm gonna do the little heel tap, one foot at a time. Keep that chest up nice and tall. Go ahead and turn that right shoulder forward. Keep it here. Back to those right jet, right jet. Knuckles are on top. We are going to take four right jabs, moving at a little, about a 45 degree angle. We'll do a single arm speed bag back, four left jabs, single arm speed bag back. Again, if you're ever not sure on these, just hang out in place, join whenever you're ready. Starting right here, it's four, three, two, one, four, three, two, switch. Jab, 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 speed bag back. Again, four, three, two, one, bring it back. So you can walk it out. Again, this depends on how much room you have. Or if you wanna shuffle, you can make that movement a little bit bigger if you choose. So walking out both directions, or maybe a shuffle and a shuffle. Again, bring it back. Excellent, pick your options. One more time each side here. Last one. We're gonna go with knees right and left, just those knees, just those knees. Lean back, drop those shoulders. Double the knees, two right, two left. Now, just as we did earlier, I'm gonna show some more options. Again, if you don't like the options, don't take them. You can stay right here with the knees, but put you in that perfect spot. Option, knee, front, push. Knee, push, knee, push. Again, on those pushes, I don't care about height. I want you to find that place where you feel really strong. Push, knee, push. Now, if you feel that it's comfortable for you, you can go with all kicks, all kicks. So you got three different options. You can go with all knees, you can go with one knee, one kick, or you can go with all kicks. Play with it. What feels challenging for you? Again, different days, different things might feel like a challenge. Where are you today? Let's go one more time on each side. Which option for you? and hold that jump rope. Again, jump rope, march, whatever feels right for your body. Keep that chest up nice and tall. Four, three, two. We're gonna plant those feet, bring them out wide. Little, it's called horse stance. Knees are soft, arms out, and we're punching. So I want you to think about if you were gonna punch yourself right in the nose. So we're going your height, punching those arms out. Punching those arms out, reaching out. Remember when you punch, Little tiny bend on those elbows at the end of the punch. Ready to go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Thank you so much for taking kickboxing part two with me. Again, part one, warm up, has a little combination. Part two, all combinations. And we will be adding a part three as well if you'd like to join for that. Thank you.